You know, hey man, I, you welcome know, back to the 85 blueprint. South Show. We are live here at the 2024 BET Awards. Carlos Miller, my man, the shift leader, Nav Green, and we are in here with none other than QB1. QB1. Cam Newton. You did. You did. Hell yeah, what's been going on, G? Man, I'm just trying to catch up to y'all mustard, bro. You feel me? Y'all creating some great-ass content, bro, and y'all doing it y'all way. And I think from my world, having the ability to evolve and understand, like, oh, them motherfuckers, they doing it. They talking about sports in a very unique, entertaining, impactful way. That's what I want to do, too. You know what I'm saying? I always knew I couldn't play football forever. So now transitioning into this content space is something that is always, you know what I'm saying, a page to learn from. So, Bro, well, every time I watch your show and you say something about, like, football and quarterbacks or how you see it, why why these motherfuckers get so upset like you ain't, like you just yeah. talking out your ass? You like you ain't an MVP. Nah. Like, why these niggas' feathers get so ruffled when you say these niggas is game managers and shit like that? But you got to understand, little bitty old me, was the talk of all sports. Mm -hmm. So it just empowers me to let me know that they listening. Oh, okay. So it don't matter because I did it at a high level. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And I just asked a question, did you? But needless to say. Absolutely. Well, when you was playing, you know what I'm saying, you had to hear the criticism, hear them yeah. say all that. And and they couldn't do the shit, but you done did the shit, yeah. so you you able to speak on it. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, though. A lot of times we talk about the person who's giving the take and not just the take. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at football a little different, not just like through the the TV copy that everybody, man, why he do that or why he get sacked? He was sacked because he wasn't protected, because he ID'd, ID'd the wrong person. That's his fault. Or the line didn't slide the right way. He mm. should have seen the nickel or the safety rotating, so the pressure obviously was coming from the right side, but he slid the line to the left. So This is the only shit you would know if you was actually in the trenches and For you sure. had to go through that. For sure. But, you know, they always, they, they always think athletic quarterbacks are incapable of articulating the game from the neck up. Mm. So... Like you just run. Now let me you ask you this: thinking. What are, What are some of the observations you made about the game and sports in general since you stepped on the other side? Man, you know one thing is we've now taken the content so serious that we are now having to invest in real writers, real bloggers, real spaces where we can talk about it as much as we want to. Because I also you know, give major props to the bar stools of the world. Uh, give major props to the pivot. Uh, give major props to all the smoke pr uh, productions. Like these guys are doing, is delivering sports in a way that that we've never seen before. Because we've always consumed ESPN, right. yeah. ESPN, 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 Fox too. You know what I'm saying? But for us. We have a story to tell, too. Coming from a person who's played it, whether basketball, football, baseball, podcasts, or owning our own production gives us the ability to control our narrative. Absolutely. So tell me this, Cam, like, because you showing your personality. Like, we saw that on the field. Like, you know what I mean? You would dance after you score and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, what got you into doing the podcast in general? Like, I'm just going to start. Like, the, um... Honestly, the check wasn't adding up. And, you know, they kept lowballing me. And respectfully, they still lowballing me. So it's like, what you don't want to pay for, I can make that on, <laughs> on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And I see other deals getting done, and I'm like, how are we not getting that? Or why am I not getting that? Mm. You can't say because I ain't got the resume. Right. You see what I'm saying? But somebody going to say, oh, look at you, can you – you too selfish. It's about me, me, me. Well, that's cool. I can say a slogan right now that makes everybody understand where I'm coming from. I want to make content that appeases not only to Buckhead, but also Bankhead. Mm. Atlanta talk. Come on. Yeah. Man. You feel me? So, <laughs> and you ain't got to be from Atlanta to understand that. Mm -hmm. So I make 
content for my kind. And if you don't want to hire me because of I wear my hair the way I wear my hair, I wear a bow tie or I wear clothes the way I want to wear clothes. I never dressed or never did anything in my life to blend in. Mm-hmm. And I'm not making contact to blend in. It's like, yo, like, listen to my content because you're going to get empowered, you're going to be entertained, right. and you're going to be informed. And I'm going to give you that the same way that ESPN is or linear TV has done. And it's not to say that I'll never do it. It's just like I know what I'm worth. So if you're not willing to give me that, then would you would you play ball again though? If they called with the right situation, would yeah. you even want to do it? But again? let's just be honest though, bro. I ain't played football in four years. I ain't getting no younger. So I probably they do this shit all the time. Hey. They'll call Tim Couch and be like, hey man, fuck Yeah, it. but that ain't Cam Newton. Yeah. Cam, yeah, I ain't gonna man. lie. I I know you was at your uh you still got it though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing how they you saw the blitz coming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you, <laughs> he ain't lost a step. Yeah, he ain't look, lost a step. Look, look, nah. I identified the mic yeah, real you quick. Identified we identified and slid the whole protection. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now, nah, man, you know, I think for us, bro, we got to do right by ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people was like, man, why are you even out there? It's like, bro, because when I grew up, I ain't see yeah. folks Real shit. like that, that I could touch, that I could talk to, that I could just be like, yo, that's. And that'll I, motivate somebody yeah, like, man, sure. Cam came back. For sure. Like, I man, could do that. When I grew up in Atlanta and was playing football, middle school, Michael Vick was that nigga. And he was in, outside you know, by himself. He was, he Every was time you see that. Him. So, but I ain't never seen Michael Vick. Around yeah, and, it, and, and, yeah. and it's not because of who he was. It was because I didn't have the resources to. Right, right, you know right. I, said? I ain't go to no goddamn Georgia Dome to watch a game. Yeah. I did, but I was all the way up there. <laughs> you don't know who that was. <laughs> Shit, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way. <laughs> I was up there with them tickets. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, man, I just I always wanted to render myself to my community and let them know, like, bro, if I can do it, bro. You can do it. And you can't just say, but Cam, you know, bro, hell no. Nah. Because I did what I did to give hope yeah, to folks sure. coming from where I come from. Man, one thing I really respect about you, though, is like the way that you're approaching this and writing and creating your own narrative. Yeah. Man, and just not letting that be the end of the story. Like, that ain't yeah. the last you. You know, most motherfuckers, they step away from the game. You never see them again. Yeah. But you actually out here and you, you're still active and you got a passion for something else. I mean, look at y'all, nigga. Like, bro, who would ever thought a motherfucker would see three motherfuckers on the stage that's just improv jokes and just selling out arenas and doing that, and they all getting along. It ain't no family feuding. Yeah. Like, bro, like, we always have had a way to innovate. You see what I'm saying? Now, with the way content is being distributed through platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, as well as YouTube. It's one of them situations that, bro, you don't, you just got to be committed to to that, bro. And at the end of the day, you don't have nobody else to blame. Because I put it like this. When I grew up, or shit, five years ago, let alone 10 years ago, who the fuck was a Casanet? Right. Now who the fuck was the a Drewski? Next level. Respectfully. Mm-hmm. So now I'm looking at Kyle saying, damn, bro, like, how the fuck is he doing that? Drewski, how the hell is he doing that? Motherfucking DC on fly. Motherfucking Carlo. Like, all y'all motherfuckers, bro. I'm saying to myself, like, damn, bro, I have a lot and doing less with more. Motherfuckers that have less are doing more and they and they don't have nobody to blame but just they give it an opportunity they got a camera they got a laptop they got a and they going crazy with it so they're empowering even me just looking at it and it's something that that needs to be studied and and also trying to be perfected as well man that's that's hard yeah that's yeah. a respect level for you to even say it's other people that can motivate you you oh, know yeah, what i'm saying bro. yeah that's love cuz i know dog like you could get into a phase, bro, and I don't think I ever was there, but it may, it, it may, or people tried to paint the narrative like, oh, Cam bitter, or Cam is about him, he's selfish. But it's like, no, if you really know me, 
you know I'm the polar opposite. I always try to show love. I always try to learn. And I'm not afraid to give people their props. You know what I'm saying? Nor do I gatekeep. It's like, bro, anybody who listens, I'm telling you, bro, if you got a camera, if you got something, bro, do it. And content comes in many different shapes and forms. Absolutely. You don't just got to be the person that you're seeing right now. You could be the person behind the scene. Okay. You could be the writer. You could be the editor. And they're getting compensated at an all-time high now. So what are you doing? And this is on YouTube University, on Siri Institute, on Google uh, 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 College. Like, bro, like, there's no reason for you not to succeed because it's so accessible. Right. <laughs> my, my mama used to say, boy, don't be a dummy with a smartphone. Hey. Mm. <laughs> now, that's, yeah, that's exactly that breathe. what it is, bro. You, got, yeah. you don't have no excuse, man. You got everything you need to have, everything you want. Yeah. For sure, bro. Nah, I, man, we book. love your content, man. And then the stories that you be telling, like, even you were talking about with your dad in the grill and stuff like yeah. that, like, it's yeah. just like, watching. you know you ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That would See, this the- is the thing, though, bro. Like, I think football has done a lot of great things for me financially, you know, giving me a lifestyle. But it also crippled me, too, because I played a mass sport, which mm-hmm. if you don't know who certain players are, you'd be like, yeah, who the fuck is that? Right. Big buff ass nigga right there. Super neck ass, boy. <laughs> Big back ass, boy. <laughs> Heavy leg ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all these different things where basketball players, you know who the Yeah, you see their face. Yeah. Their face. Bro, now everybody wearing face shields and face like you don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's not lucky like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, you know what I'm saying? Odell, where he's like, Oh, that's him right there. He played football. So now going into this realm of content it's like bro you got to reinvent your whole self because people don't all know who the fuck you are it's a hell of a way to approach that man we could really sit here and talk this shit all day bro we gotta link back up when we get back to the city that interview you did with dc was dope as hell yeah bro i I knew that because i always you know what i'm saying told i know he was in a wave too like everybody bro it's like it's not that you don't want to do it it's just if your schedule And I was so excited because I know he got church roots. And I ain't afraid to tell people. Like, I grew up in a church. I ain't one of these that's grown to do it. Man, ain't had shit growing up. You know what I mean? But it was one of them situations that I was like, bro, if you give me an opportunity to sit alongside with you, bro, I'm going to do my best to tell your story. And that's what I try to do with Funky Friday. You know what I'm saying? With not only just informing people, but entertaining them as well. Right. And then even with 4th and 1, obviously, you know what I'm saying, a uh, host as well, Peggy, it's like they come for the sports, but they stay for the story. Right. So when I'm talking about my grill, when I'm talking about growing up in church, when I'm talking about polo boots, and when I'm talking about Jordans and certain and things. polo boots was a game changer. Yeah, that, right? that bro, don't even know how that was. For sure. Man. Team clubs. Like, bro, for sure. Like, nigga, I was there. Putting your jeans inside you your damn polo boots. <laughs> Wearing slouch Even the sock. buckle undone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Making all that damn nugget. You ain't sticking up on no damn body. <laughs> <laughs> they said. Wearing that curve. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, look, G, we really appreciate you stopping through here blessing us, man. Job, Are you looking forward to seeing any performances or anything this weekend at the BET Awards? Man, it's the first time I've ever been in the BET Awards. Whoa. Man. I ain't ne- Look, nigga, this, we locked in. Oh, we yeah, training, training camp. Training yeah. camp around that time. I'm, this is so fresh to me, bro, being able, a content creator, a, a YouTuber. Yeah. Like, I get to see life in a way where it's like, yo, like this what y'all niggas be doing? Yeah. It's kicking it. ass bitches out here too. <laughs> they gonna say, Cam, don't you got a girl? But shit, nigga, I can look on the menu. I just can't order. Yeah. yeah. Baby, look, 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 look. And she gonna probably tap me like, nigga, look at that ass. What baby? <laughs> like, that's see, my nigga. You bro. got the advantage. You tall. You see this shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I see up. everything. Yeah. I see the tracks. I see the lace fronts too. I see that ball spot. I see that Beijing. I see all that shit. So let y'all don't live, come G. fuck around let with me. Live. Like, nah, here, nah, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm like, uh-uh. What you doing with that? But you're sweating. <laughs> you're sweating. <laughs> man, yeah, yeah. We appreciate y'all, bit. boy, man. man. We appreciate you stopping yes, through here with us, man. 85 South Show, 2024 BET Cam Awards. Newt. Cam Newton, a.k.a. Boogie. Nav Green, the shift leader. And we out of here.